Hello, Dr. Ben Lynch here. Folic acid. I am anti-folic acid, very anti-folic acid. And let me give you some scientific proof why. You wanna think, you want your patients to think. Your patients are depressed, irritable, can't sleep, right? These are problems. You're seeing it every day for years. You don't think about folic acid at all. You need to, you need to, because in order to produce dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin, melatonin requires the use of biopterin, okay? And biopterin is very important for these neurotransmitters. If you're low in biopterin, these neurotransmitters don't get produced. It's that simple, okay? So and as biopterin gets used, it has to be recycled. And it's recycled by an enzyme called DHFR. DHFR stands for dihydrate dihydrofolate reductase. Now, folic acid goes through dihydrofolate reductase, and it's very slow in doing it. So if folic acid goes through dihydrofolate reductase, and so does biopterin, what's happening to your patient's neurotransmitters? They're dropping, they're lowering. So you're scrambling, you're trying to find the pharmaceutical drug that can boost them up, you're trying to find the nutrients and cofactors to boost them up, you're trying to find the amino acids and the foods that can boost them up, you're trying to get them exercise and improved sleep to boost them up, but you're also giving folic acid. Get rid of the folic acid. Throw it away. Why? One enzyme. Two things, trying to go through the same one. Folic acid comes in, very slow to convert folic acid through the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme to make more reduced forms of folate for your patient. Oxidized damage biopterin goes through the same enzyme. So you've got two things coming in at the same time. They're button heads, there's no room in there. There's only so much the enzyme can do. If folic acid is in there and so is oxidized biopterin, you're gonna get some biopterin that's ready to make these neurotransmitters from your patient. And you're gonna take some of that folic acid and you're gonna reduce it into more usable forms of folic acid. But if you throw away the folic acid from your patient, you get rid of the folic, your folic acid reduced foods uh, containing foods like energy bars, energy drinks, uh, grains, and so on, you get rid of that stuff, then the biopterin comes through, it gets oxidized, and then it goes through the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme without competition. You can recycle more. As you recycle more biopterin, the neurotransmitters start to come up. It's a simple thing that very few research papers are looking at, but they are looking at it, and they're hard to find but I've found them. I recommend this a lot to doctors and their patients. And this simple technique has very, very much improved a lot of patients. So again, to wrap up, to support neurotransmission in your patients, remove folic acid from their diet, from enriched foods, remove it from their supplementation, give the cofactors and supported amino acids to support these dopamine, norepinephrine, serotonin, melatonin, neurotransmitters, okay? Do that. But you also need to keep the DHFR enzyme available so it can recycle that biopterin and get these neurotransmitters to do what they need to do. It's very important. It's very simple. And there's a good diagram here that shows you where the DHFR enzyme is and how folic acid goes through and also the DHFR. So I hope that serves you well. Please get rid of the folic acid and I will bet you that you see fantastic results. Thank you. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.